to build your own casino, because business is blooming. Well, not just yet. That's where you come in. Why play against the house when you can be the house? You can manage and schmooze with the locals. Most importantly, the VIPs. They are vital to the reputation of our... I mean, your casino. You'll need to keep a close eye on the cops, who are keeping a close eye on the mob, who are both being watched by the press. Why, whatever side of the drama you're on, you'll experience wealth beyond your wildest dreams. Indulge yourself in glitz and glamour like never before. So why don't you roll the dice on running your very own Bloomin' Business Casino? Bloomin' Business Casino. Don't delay. Add to your wish list today. Peggy 7. Ah. <laughs> Here is a little something to inspire you. Be creative! Mm -hmm. Guys, this has a lot of potential. Hmm. <laughs> Couldn't we go a step beyond? Ta-da! about you? Will you go beyond your imagination? Talk beyond. Coming soon.
Once upon a time, there was a charming young woman looking for a fresh start. One day, she found an abandoned lodge and was seduced by the pastoral scenery. Beatrice grabbed her axe and started to work. But this new life felt a bit lonely. Aided by myself, <coughs> by fate, she met the perfect guy. Beatrice and Frederick fell in love over cuddles, muscles and the art of war. They married and built a house together to live in happily ever after. Thus, Lakeburg was born. The happy couple was joined by a farmer, a hunter. Together, they built a beautiful village. Everyone was happy. And that's the end of our story. Oh, wait! What is he doing with her? No, don't do that, Frederick. You made such a beautiful couple with Beatrice. This woman can't bring you happiness, and she's already married. OK, now Rachel can't work with Beatrice anymore, since she stole her husband. Let's separate them. But it's fine. Lakeburg is still doing good. Let's appoint a queen. Beatrice will do. Hey, you lost your husband, but you won a kingdom. What now? People are starving? OK, that's it. It's time for me to, well, for fate, to take charge. We need more of this. Let's upgrade this one. Produce more vegetables. OK, you are toxic, mister. You're out of here. And now we have a thieves' guild. Ah! <clears throat> Sorry, I got carried away. Hopefully the new generation will do better than their parents. Let's build the most beautiful, efficient, prestigious Lakeburg we can. Their fate is now in your hands. Thank the gods. The world is but a dried up wasteland. Waters become the new gold. And what scarce reserves remain are toxic and poisonous. Only a handful have managed to survive. Scraping by, drop by drop. In a world where even water is scarce, unlimited growth isn't an option. Expand your settlements carefully in order to maximize efficiency because every little bit counts. In this unforgiving place, nothing lasts forever. Resources run out. Hostile forces circle like vultures. Adapt to a nomadic lifestyle or die. Even when you're forced to leave things behind, your experience will stay with you. Develop laws and technologies to kickstart progress when you settle down again. But some say not all the world is dry and dead. Lead your survivors onwards to more fertile pastures. The road ahead will not be easy. There's no end to the dangers of the wasteland. But with your guidance, your survivors just might make it through the night. And with enough help, they just might be able to find their home again. Lacht die Wind in Kuren, lacht du 